morning and welcome to St. Peter and All Saints Episcopal Church in Kansas City. Deacon Donna and I and the whole congregation are happy to worship with you today. A bulletin for this service can be found online. There's a link to it in the description section of the YouTube video that you might have just clicked on or in an email from the church. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that you may, we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace, truth to you on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only be with you and also with you let us pray father in heaven who at the baptism of Jesus and the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit grant that all those who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting amen Good morning. Our first reading is from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. The word of the Lord. Let us say together Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying, glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. 
the Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Our second reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was with the Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who is to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied, although altogether there were about twelve of them. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. <clears throat> John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. <clears throat> Time travelers abound in fiction. I've read at least 20 novels or short stories about them, and I've seen countless movies and TV shows. Usually someone goes back in time, perhaps because the future being unknown is too scary. The interesting choice concerns when, to what time do they want to go back? In all of those plots with which I'm familiar, strangely, no one wants to go back to antiquity and walk around with Jesus or even gaze on him in the manger. But I do. And after I brushed up on my Aramaic, I know exactly the time and place to which I would travel. Picture a desert scene. Everyone was wondering and talking about what was going on. They traveled a long ways out in the wilderness to find out. By some accounts, a homeless man had called the Pharisees and Sadducees a brood of vipers. He said some scary things about an axe and unquenchable fire, and he was washing away their sins in the river. After one man was baptized, everyone heard a great voice from heaven. You are my son, 
the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Why is this moment in time important to me? Because it is a pivot point in the history of our species. A human being was identified as the Son and Beloved in whom the One in Heaven is well pleased. I want to see that One. I want to see what being beloved of the Creator looks like. Did he smile? Did he look terrified? Did he look like a child who had received the approval of his father? We know what happened next. He went into a remote, more remote place for forty days and was tempted by Satan. I don't need to see that. Just his face. What does beloved look like? Well, actually, I think beloved can look like any one of us. How is that? Well, Jesus, representing all of Israel, received John's baptism for the forgiveness of sin. But St. Paul is clear that we are baptized into Christ. We are baptized into the Beloved One of God Almighty. Is it true, even if we don't feel it? Maybe we don't believe it. Maybe we are stuck in despair. I get stuck in verse 6 of Psalm 22, which we always recite on Good Friday. I am a worm and no man. When that wormy feeling comes, we can say to ourselves, but I am baptized into the Beloved. Or maybe we're living in verse 11. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Add this phrase, but I am baptized into the Beloved. Or, or verse 14. I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint, my heart within my breast is melting wax, but I am baptized into the Beloved. His baptism put him on a trajectory to his crucifixion when he began reciting this psalm from the cross, and others around him acted it out like a screenplay. That too is what Beloved looks like. I don't want to look on his crucifixion, because I would see that face, the Beloved One, with a broken and slowly dying body. Someday, though, maybe, I'll need to look, when my body is broken and dying, and I'll know that I am baptized into the Beloved, the Resurrected One. And maybe, just maybe, when people who don't know anything about Jesus look upon us, they too will see the Beloved. Do we look like we are Beloved of the Father? Because if we are, then we can show that face to a world suffering from despair. And the hope of Christmas, in that way, will be fulfilled.
the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the, the Father, Father, the, the Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and, and earth, of all that, that is seen and unseen. And unseen. We, we believe, believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, God eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, begotten not, not made, of, of one being with the Father. Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our, our salvation, salvation he came down from, from heaven. By, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit he became incarnate from the, from the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and was made man. man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With, With the, the Father, Father and the Son, he is, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We, we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, for Michael, our presiding bishop, Diane, our bishop, and our clergy, Father Jonathan and Deacon Donna, our vestry, our day school, our parish staff, and especially St. James Episcopal Church in Springfield. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially Joe, our president, our elected representatives, and the courts that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially those affected by violence and natural disasters. For Joe Deering, Clay Glenn, John Carmichael, and also Richard Bateman, the Reverend Barbara Beam, Ann Ralston Brown, Sherry Candillo, Carter, Kathleen Clark, Mark Connolly, Dana, Doug, John Dunn, Fran Dyer, Alan and Christy Aiken and family, Father Harry Firth, Alex and Susan Green, Jennifer Brown Harnick, Michael Hendon, Jim, Joe and Pam, Ed Joyner Jr., Karen Joyner, Lachlan, Glenn and Ruby Lane, Leo, Madison, Patricia Meglaris, Tyler and Tara Markham, Gabe Markham, Dave Masden, John Matthews, Tom Miles, Marcia Miller, Kathy Morris, Deacon Bob Murphy, Bob Knoll, Gary Oda, William Michael Ritchie, Tom Carley and Theo Roberton, Judith Rojas, Dick Strong, Courtney and Tim Sturgis, Carolyn Watson, Don and Donna White, Bill Winslow, Zay, and all those who <clears throat> in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, especially Jeannie McDowell. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. For those serving in the military and their families, especially Loyal Otterson, Alex Battle, Lauren Batson, Matthew Carmichael, Aaron Delgado, Gage Dietz, Brendan Frederick, Tom Gildea, Trey Mavers, Robert Mangold, Luciana Lorea, Sean Perrone, Chaz Porter, Dan Sanford. And those who are celebrating birthdays and anniversaries, especially Elisa Carmichael, Kathleen Clark, Greg Taylor, Andy Walker, Ed Hobson, and Rob Walker. Let us pray in the words our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, we as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And lead, and lead us not, us not into, into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from evil. evil. For, For thine, thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the, power and the glory forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen.
Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.